Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'll be talking about the differences between high school and university. So I've been at university for a year and obviously been at high school long enough to graduate. So I thought it would be really interesting to talk about the differences between the two different places because when I asked for Q&A questions for my university Q&A, a lot of people asked about the differences between high school and uni. So today I'm gonna go into that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. These aren't in any particular order. It's kind of just like as I thought of things, I wrote them down so please bear with me. I think the first thing that I noticed and a lot of other people probably notice as soon as you start uni is just how much bigger it is. I went to a fairly small high school there were only a couple of hundred of us in my grade there were only about 66 people I think and then I started university and I either go to the biggest university in Queensland or one of the biggest in Queensland so it was a little bit of a difference. At my school some of my classes only had 10 people in them probably up to about 30 people and now that I go to university the classes are so much bigger. At uni there are two main types of classes there's a lecture and a tutorial. A lecture is basically where you sit in a big lecture theatre and there's just one lecturer who stands at the front and basically teaches you. You can ask questions if you're confused or something like that, but it's just not really a normal thing to do. Like not a lot of people ask questions. They basically talk for one or two hours and you basically sit there and take your own notes for one or two hours. And then you have tutorials and they're a bit more similar to like the classic kind of class setup that you have in high school. So they'll usually be around 30 people, I guess. And there'll be one tutor, which is basically like a teacher. And you basically kind of recap the content that you learnt in the lecture and you do exercises or workbooks or whatever else to kind of teach you it better. And usually if you're confused and have questions, they're probably the first person you go to. So the tutorials are a bit more similar to normal classes like you have in high school. But when it comes to the lectures, you could have a lecture with 400 people, 500 people, as many as the lecture theatre can fit. Like, it's insane. So the size of classes is just crazy. But then you also have the size of the campus, and that is absolutely crazy. Obviously it depends which uni you go to. If you go to a smaller uni you may not have a huge campus but I go to a quite a large uni and so my campus is literally so big. If you have one class after the other you have 10 minutes to get from that class to the next one and sometimes it can take you that whole amount of time to get to the next class and you have to be like walking fast. It's not like you can stroll along to your next class like you have to be there quick because the class isn't that far apart which is crazy. Also trying to find classes is so much harder because there's just so many different things there. It's just it's like a whole nother world I swear. One of the things that I love the most about university that is so different from high school is there's no hierarchy there's no politics there's just like no judgment at university. From my experience that's how I feel. Maybe there is some sort of popularity scale and I just don't know about it because I'm not even on it because I'm not even near popular but from what I've gathered it doesn't seem like there's the popular kids and the dorky kids or anything like that which I really, really like. I feel like it's just too impossible because everything is so big and you don't see the same people every single day. You may see a couple people every single day or a couple people a few times a week, but majority of people, you'll see them once a week or less than that. Like in high school, you're surrounded by the same people five days a week for like, what, six or seven hours or something like that almost every single week of the year. Whereas in university you may have one lecture and one tutorial for that subject so you see those people like twice a week. And then if you're in a lecture with hundreds of people you may not even see them then so then you may only see them once a week. So like you just, it's hard to have a popularity scale when you hardly even see the people. And because of that I feel like there's so much less judgement. The thing I love most about this judgement free zone is you can wear whatever you want. People at uni just wear anything and I love it so much. I feel like people showcase their style so much much more at university than they ever did at high school. I've seen people with Crocs, I've seen people with socks and sandals, I have seen people who look like they just got out of bed and rolled into uni, which is honestly my dream. And people just don't care. It's great. I love it. <laughs> Another big difference is the amount of scaffolding that you have. I feel like at high school a lot of teachers kind of explain how to do each step of the assignment and in first year university sometimes they do that. I think in first year university they do give you a lot more help than they will in other years but at the same time it's a lot less than what you got in high school. It could totally depend on which university you go to and which teachers you have and also which high school you went to and which teachers you had and things like that depending on how much scaffolding you had but I feel like university is a lot more trying to figure it out for yourself which makes sense because you're 
you're older and you should be able to figure things out for yourself but it does get a little bit stressful when you do get confused and it's not as specific as you would like it to be also at most universities you have to pay for parking if you don't have to pay for parking at university please understand how blessed you are because some people pay ridiculous amounts at my university we don't have to pay like a ridiculous amount like it's a fairly good rate but I know at some other unis they end up paying like $80 a day for parking at their university. So most people obviously don't park there, they'll park somewhere else and then like bus it in or park fairly far away and then walk or whatever else. But paying for parking is just so ridiculous, I feel like. And especially when they don't even provide enough parks anyway, because you end up having to like stalk people for car parks if you don't get there at a certain time and it's just a big stressful thing. Parking is just so stupid and I would definitely recommend taking public transport if it's easier for you or cheaper for you but I don't, I like to drive. One of the things I found really weird about uni is that obviously in high school you have your teachers and they're usually like your mum or your dad's age, usually. Sometimes they're fresh out of uni, but they're still like a decent amount older than you because they've obviously gone to uni for like four years or three years or whatever and then got a job. So they're still at least like three to four years older than you, like minimum but a lot of the time they're a lot older than you. Whereas in university, a lot of your tutors, not your lecturers, the lecturers are usually quite a bit older, but the tutors can be so young. Like if you're in first year, I'm pretty sure second year students can become tutors if they get a good enough mark in that subject. I don't know all the details, so don't quote me on any of this, but I know that some tutors are just so young and they may only be like a couple years older than you. And obviously for older students, some of their tutors may be younger than them and it's just so weird like it's really weird and most of your tutors are still students themselves a lot of them are studying like PhDs or their masters or things like that but some of them are still just in their normal degree so it's like it's weird I find it weird but it's also cool because they understand you because they've just gone through what you've gone through so it's good another thing that's very different from my high school experience I don't know if all high schools are the same in this regard but in university you can leave during an exam there are rules surrounding this but I don't want to go into all of them because this video would be quite long but in university if you have an exam some exams don't allow this but many do you can be sitting in your exam and you may finish your exam before the time is up so just say you have a two-hour exam and you finish it in an hour and 15 minutes you are able to like put your hand up they'll come and collect your paper and you can leave you can literally leave the room in high school I was never allowed to do that I don't know if other high schools do that maybe they do in my high school is just like weird but I, I just think that's like the coolest thing ever but it is something that you have to obviously um, consider a lot because you don't want to leave and then want to come back in because once you leave you can't come back but it's just so cool that if you're done you can just get up and leave you don't have to sit there for another hour or something like I said they do have rules surrounding it so at my university you can't leave in the first hour or like the last to half an hour because then everyone would be leaving at once and rah, rah, rah. but it's still such a cool concept I really like that and the last difference and definitely one of the biggest differences is the amount of free time you have. Obviously the contact hours are very very different at university. You can start at 8am and you can be there till like probably 6 or 8pm and you can just kind of plan your classes within the time slots that they give you. But for most degrees it's very unlikely that you'll be there for like 7 hours a day, 5 days a week like you are in high school. But I think going along with that your first year of uni is a lot of trying to balance how much you should be studying and things when you're not at uni. because. Obviously, since you're not at uni as much, you need to be doing work at home to compensate that. But I think there are pros and cons to having less contact hours. Obviously, the pros are that you can have a part-time job and you can hang out with your friends at other times and you can do other things apart from uni. But the cons are that a lot of people kind of prioritize other things over uni and they forget how much study you have to do at home to kind of compensate for those lack of contact hours. So I think one thing you have to be good at for university is self-discipline. You have to be able to motivate yourself and things like that. I feel like at high school it's a bit easier because everyone around you is doing it and teachers will bug you about your assignment due in a few weeks whereas it's just not like that at university. But those are all of the differences that I'm mentioning in this video. Hopefully it was somewhat interesting and helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I still have a few more university videos to go in my university series. So if you want to see those definitely subscribe and if you want to see the ones I've already uploaded this week I will link them down below. But other other than that, I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.